truly delighted to be among you today. And we're going to use two projects that are dear to us. One is the uh, Resolve office system for Herman Miller. And uh, the other is the Dakar project, which is a series of furniture uh, pieces that we did with local craftspeople in Dakar, Senegal. And you'll see the two projects are really two ends, of, different ends of the uh, product spectrum. Bon, à Dakar, euh, pour dire au début, euh, tout a commencé euh, quand Aïcha et moi nous étions en, en vacances. It all started when uh, Aisha and uh, myself were on holiday in Dakar. Pendant un mois. We spent a month, one month there. C'était, uh, uh, it was in 2002, August 2002. And, and um, since then we have not been on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> et uh, nous dessinions uh, des objets uh, simplement dans notre carnet de croquis et À un moment, au bout d'une semaine, nous nous sommes demandé si on ne devrait pas les faire euh, fabriquer. And we were actually busy designing uh, some sketches in our not in our books, and uh, we decided a week later maybe to have them uh, made. Et euh, donc nous avons euh, dessiné des objets en, en, qui pourraient être fabriqués en métaux. So we de- we started to design some objects uh, that could be made uh, in metal. Et euh, ma mère and my mother nous a présenté à Monsieur Diouf qui est un menuisier métallique à Dakar. Introduced uh, us to Mr. Diouf who is a specialized in uh, iron work in Dakar et qui a réalisé quelques uns de nos produits. And uh, he actually made the sum uh, of our products. Mais ce qui était uh, important à dire c'est que uh, nous fonctionnons en, en partenariat avec lui. And w- I think what's very important to know is that we work in partnership with him. Là, on voit Aïché qui dessine. En fait, c'était très naturel. C'est-à-dire que nous dessinions sur place. So here you can see uh, Aïché uh, busy uh, designing, and we. It was a very natural process. We actually designing on the spot. Et Monsieur Diouf, qui était le partenaire, était aussi le surveillant. And uh, Mr. Diouf, uh, who was our partner, was also the uh, controller in a way. Et nous avons avec lui. Euh, Ou oh, de supervisor. Ce supervisor. Et nous avons eu avec lui. Euh, il a constitué pour nous une, une, une bonne équipe. And uh, we actually made a very good team. Voilà. Et que nous considérions que, euh, que nous, plus euh, Monsieur Diouf, euh, nous, for- nous formions en, ensemble une nouvelle identité. And uh, we really believe that uh, ourselves, plus Monsieur Diouf, were actually a new identity altogether. I want to speak a little bit about the uh, uh, a different kind of partner, Herman Miller, and the uh, the état d'esprit or the state of mind that the uh, this other product, which is an office system resolve, um, puts people into, uh, because every product um, has a certain performance. And the, we, the users, through this performance, uh, all share more or less a certain state of mind through the product. What's interesting about this uh, Resolve, the office system, is that um, its performance um, um, adapts to different environments. And one example that I, we wanted to share with you is um, Resolve in India, which creates a state of mind that's really particular to India, um, with its vibrant colors and charm and warmth. Um, and so, when we're talking about the creating this performance, um, there numerous people on stage. So you have uh, here on one side um, part of the design team, Stephanie, uh, who was working with me, um, Bob Beck in the middle, who is the lead, lead engineer at, at Herman Miller. In the back, Rick Duffy, who was um, head of applications. And then um, another person, <laughs> that's me, with my back turned. And then um, Joe Stone, he was part of the um, design team as well. And you have, um, as you well know, researchers and marketing people and sales people 
um, all coming together to um, develop this product. Um, but the designer is in the middle of it all and coming up with ideas and pulling different ideas from the, these different uh, knowledge bases together. But at the end of the day, the star, the real star, is the product. And it's the product that performs. And we wanted to show to you another kind of star, uh, Tom Cruise. If you've seen Minority Report, uh, Resolve was his office. So he was in a Resolve environment. Bon, au sujet de, de Dakar, to come back to Dakar, uh, nous avons uh, vécu une histoire, uh, je pense, extraordinaire pour nous. It was a tremendous, uh, very, very good experience for us. Et uh, nous avons uh, créé plusieurs uh, produits, uh, aussi bien en métaux, en bois, uh, en argent, avec un bijoutier mauritanien. And we created uh, many objects uh, with uh, metal, with wood, and as well as with uh, silver, with a Mauritanian jeweler. Et uh, tout ça pour dire que, en fait, ce qui nous, nous intéressait beaucoup là-dessus, et comme ce qui nous intéresse sur la plupart des projets, c'est de, de créer des, des expériences. Just to say that uh, what really was interesting for us, it's to create new experiences. Et pour pouvoir raconter de, de, de belles histoires. In order to be able to tell beautiful stories. Bon, là, c'est Wally, mon fils. This is uh, Wally, my, my son. Assis sur un, un, un siège. We're oui. sitting on a fabriqué par Diouf. On a sofa, uh, siège. Uh, okay, on a seat uh, that was made by Mr. Diouf. Et, bon, à côté de ça, uh, nous pensons que ces expériences uh, uh, qui sont très, très proches de nous. And uh, we believe that those kind of experiences who are very, very important for us nous rend uh, vraiment très, très, très sensibles. Make us uh, more, more sensitive. Bon, je ne sais pas si les autres designers qui sont là sont d'accord avec nous. I don't know if uh, the designers <laughs> that are here do agree with us. Mais au début du projet, on est, on est vraiment très uh, impliqué dans le projet. But uh, we really commit ourselves from the beginning of the project. Et, euh, et euh, nous voulons faire partager cette histoire aussi avec euh, les partenaires avec qui on travaille. And that's also the kind of story that we want to be able to share with the partners with whom we work. Et bien entendu aussi les, les faire partager avec les gens qui utilisent les objets que, le, que, le, que nous créons. And obviously we also want to share that uh, this kind of experience with the people that are using the objects that we create. Là on voit mon père qui se gratte la tête derrière. We can see my uh, father in this uh, slide. Je dois voir qu'est-ce qu'il a encore créé ce truc. Who's uh, touching his head and saying what, what what new object did he create now? Voilà. Everything is centered around the user and the uh, um, what we're creating is a product experience that then you know what's interesting is that the uh, you create a product, but then when the product is used, you're not there to assist to that uh, use or the experience of that product. Um, so the idea is to create an experience then will be repeated more or less the same way um, through different users, through different uses. And you have um, Resolve here, which is repeated many times about 100 workstations to create a large office. And then, um, if we were to come close to it, you might see a resolve that's gr uh, for a group of about 15 people. A product is like a, a child. You create it, you uh, groom it, you see it grow, and then when it matures, you let it go. And when it's in the world, it gets used in all kinds of different ways, and sometimes um, in very interesting ways that you yourself might not have thought of. This is. Um, people at eBay using Resolve, where, where they've taken down all of the screens, um, everybody is face to face, and then they've decorated the whole thing and made it their very own. But I think the, uh, the real pleasure comes from um, seeing your product being used and hopefully being, uh, you know, giving 
some sort of um, benefit to the people who are, who are um, using it and um, interacting with it. L'endroit. The place. En général, bon, euh, avec nos, nos clients aux États-Unis ou en, en Europe. Usually with our uh, customers in uh, the United States or in Europe. Euh, nous créons dans notre studio. We create uh, objects in uh, our studio. Et nous allons euh, les présenter aux, aux clients, ou des fois le client vient, sur, euh, vient nous rencontrer. And we usually go Uh, and present them to the client, or sometimes the client comes to us. Mais euh, là, à Dakar, ce qui était intéressant, c'est que euh, nous euh, créons euh, là où les objets allaient être fabriqués. But what was interesting in Dakar is that we were creating, actually, where the, the objects were going to be made, on the same location. Et euh, vraiment inspiré par leur, euh, leur savoir-faire, And we, are, we were really inspired by the know-how of the people. Là, par exemple, on a des pipes fabriquées euh, qui sont traditionnelles en, en Mauritanie. You can see here uh, some traditional pipes that were made in uh, Mauritania. Euh, mais nous utilisions, euh, nous avons été très inspirés par la, la façon dont ils euh, superposaient euh, les différents matériaux. Uh, we were very impressed by the way they were uh, putting the different layers on these uh, objects. Nous avons créé à, à partir de ça des, des, des cuillères. We then uh, created spoons. Là, après, nous avons rencontré un mec qui faisait, uh, qui uh, tressait à partir de, de structures métalliques existantes qui Uh, comment dire, donner, donner une nouvelle vie à des, des, des chaises longues. And uh, we also met a person uh, who was actually using uh, old chairs uh, and making them in a different way, giving them a new kind of life in a way. Mais là, uh, on a fait un espèce de, de rapprochement, c'est-à-dire que les, certains objets que uh, Diouf fabriquait pouvaient être uh, Uh, tissé de cette même manière. Donc c'est pour cela que nous avons. And uh, we saw actually a resemblance with the objects that Mr. Duff was making in the way they were woven. Mais euh, bon, le truc important c'est que euh, et ça c'est la partie la plus euh, difficile à, pour nous a été difficile pour, à expliquer, c'est que. And the, the most important part, which is the most difficult part. Uh, part for us to, uh, to explain c'est que nous ne voulions pas euh, euh, comment dire euh, euh, exporter euh, une inspiration c'est à dire nous voulions pas passer notre temps à Dakar et prendre cette, cette inspiration et la, la dispatcher euh, en Europe ou aux états unis Our idea was not actually to be in Dakar and to uh, dispatch uh, our idea through Europe or through uh, the United States. Oui, notre but n'était pas de. Oh, merci. Notre but n'était pas de. Premier n'était pas de créer des produits en Afrique pour les exporter. Our, our, uh, our target was not to actually build or have products made in Africa in order to export those products. C'était uh, surtout de de sensibiliser euh, les artisans euh, qui sont devenus euh, comment dire des experts dans leur euh, domaine. It was actually to sensitize all the and to make all the craftsmen that uh, aware of the products that they were making. Pour créer euh, peut-être des produits qui seraient euh, utilisés aussi par des Sénégalais ou par euh, d'autres Africains. And make them aware that they could create products that would be used also by people in Senegal or uh, in other African countries. Oui, c'est pas pour créer des produits qui seraient vendus une fortune en, en, en France. Not necessary to create uh, products that will be sold for a fortune in uh, France as, a, as, a, as an example. Bon, je pense que sur le sujet il y a peut-être beaucoup de choses à dire mais And there's so many things to say on that uh, subject. Voilà, mais ce qui est était très important pour nous c'est que notre inspiration était surtout euh, locale, quoi. Uh, however, what was very important for us is that uh, the all insp inspiration came uh, from the local people. 
think maybe one thing that maybe we should also repeat again is that um, the car project is for us really a, a project of love because we were enjoying ourselves, enjoying being in Dakar, and that uh, our intention was to do something that uh, for fun. But then by um, you know, seeing these local craftspeople and seeing their capabilities, um, th just how well they knew their materials and how to work with it. But they, the, most of the things they were doing were repetitions of things that um, we've seen for years. And there was not much that was original. And they kept doing the same thing, thinking that this is what the tourists want. And so we found ourselves in this um, special moment where uh, they were really open to looking at our sketches and working with us in realizing these forms. And I think um, it offered them this window into um, new authentic pieces that they themselves could create um, you know, with our input. Um, that was really a whole new repertoire of um, rocking chairs, chairs, spoons, stools. Um, and it was a, a learning for, I think, both sides of um, what happened when um, the t two teams came together. So, talking of teams, um, I want to contrast that again with the uh, Resolve team and this notion of, you know, when as designers we work, we work mostly um, alone in our heads. You create, um, and most of that is, uh, you know, up here. But then the whole process of the uh, product design requires that together you realize. So these were the um, very first sketches of Resolve as a system um, and its aspirations. And together with uh, the Herman Miller team, we were able to bring that from um, that pencil sketch that you saw into a whole um, office system that's industrialized. And um, I wanted to show you this um, image, which is the um, screen in Resolve, which is both tackable and velcroable. Um, and this material that's also translucent uh, didn't exist before. and it we created it from scratch, and it was probably the most complex part um, of the whole project. And it was only possible through a larger uh, team of people working together. And to be able to go from um, alone to team, this whole group of people embracing your idea and putting their energies behind it, you need all kinds of tools of pers persuasion and demonstration and charm and um, and one of our tools was the uh, Resolve concept book, which laid down the uh, the concept and the principles of Resolve in terms of being simple, being economical, being welcoming, being resilient. That guided us throughout the project. And I think you all know that uh, that moment that happens. Uh, through the creation of, of um, products or of other things, um, that there is an enthusiasm to the, that's shared by the whole th team, especially if um, you know, you're moving forward and getting to places that comes from um, possibly making something for the first time. That you're all driven by this idea that um, people might not have thought before or um, put together before. Au sujet des, des phases, nous pensions que parler des phases était un, un, un bon sujet uh, pour expliquer que... As far as the uh, different phases, we thought that it would be very uh, important actually to speak about the different phases. Que aussi bien pour un office system. Just in order to uh, explain that... Uh, for an office system, the produits réalisés par des artisans, or products that are made by uh, craft uh, people, or toute autre entreprise, tout, tout part du, du, du sketchbook, 
or any other kind of uh, project. Everything starts with a sketchbook. Bon, ici la le sketchbook ici c'était une feuille en métal. Uh, the sketchbook here was a, a metallic uh, sheet sur lequel nous dessinions à l'échelle 1 on uh, which we were designing on the scale uh, one, uh, of 1 et cette uh, tôle Real était scale. Uh, cette, cette tôle était découpée et, et assemblée uh, sur place we would then uh, cut the metal sheet and assemble it soudé mais uh, même là nous avions uh, uh, des contraintes à respecter. But we were also facing some uh, constraints. Bon, par exemple, là, ils étaient en, en train de, uh, de travailler sur le parallélisme des, des, de deux parties du, de l'objet. So here they were busy working on the parallelism of the, this object. Et, mais tout est euh, finalement le, le but c'est euh, de réaliser euh, euh, une série de produits euh, en respectant une, une logique. But I mean the, the, the aim was to create a series of products uh, while following a certain logic. Mais une, une logique dans ce cas-là une logique locale. But uh, the logic would be in that case a, a local uh, logic. Bon, là, par exemple, nous avons des, des armatures nues que nous amenions à... So here we, we have the frames that we would bring and we would bring those frames to, uh, to Monsieur Bismarck qui était à Dakar. We would bring the frames to Mr. Bismarck who was uh, in Dakar. Mais à 100 mètres de Monsieur Diouf. And uh, he was working about 100 meters from uh, uh, Mr. Diouf. Et il était, et il, et c'est lui qui faisait l'assise et le dossier. Quoi. And uh, he was the one that would make the seat and uh, the, the finishing. C'était un bon travail de, de, de collaboration. Ils se connaissent en plus, ils se sont connus. Donc je... And they both know each other, so it was a very, very uh, good collaborating process. A good process demands a good start, like a hundred meter run. And we find that uh, if we can start the project with a good uh, kind of departure. The rest of it kind of flows. And sometimes that good start comes from the fact that you hate the current status. So when I um, started Resolve, cubicles had become a commodity of the American office landscape. And I could see nothing uh, that made sense in it or that was uh, remotely welcoming, so that gave me the um, passion to uh, to come up with ideas that would take people out of cubicles and hopefully into a more welcoming environment. And in the development of the uh, of a project, um, you know, sometimes takes three years, um, sometimes longer, but resolve um, due to its complexity, the complexity of the problem, the uh, level of investment, the market size. Um, it took three years, one year of um, really concept development, one year of um, development, and the third year for um, fabrication and just uh, ironing out the kinks. Um, and sometimes a project can take um, three weeks, which was the um, case of the Dakar project. Nous considérons cette, cette partie euh, du, de développement comme étant vitale pour nous. And we believe that uh, the sketching is vital for us. Et nous les partageons euh, bien entendu avec, euh, avec nos clients. Avec... And we obviously share the sketches with uh, our clients or customers. Et nous voulions donc vous les montrer Euh, comme étant le, vraiment le, le cœur de notre façon de travailler. And we really want uh, to show that uh, it's really the art of how we work. Bon, moi c'est ma première euh, euh, conférence, je ne sais pas si les gens voient beaucoup de dessins de, de designers, mais... It's the first time that I attend uh, this kind of conference. I don't know if usually people are exposed to uh, the different sketches. Mais bon, ça, ce sont des, toute une série de, de sketchs que nous faisons sur différents projets et que but nous voulions partager a, avec vous. This is some uh, sketches that we have made 
uh, on different projects and some sketches that we would want to, we wanted to share with with you. Mais euh, et là, je laisserai ce chapitre à Aisha. And uh, Aisha will speak uh, about the next. Uh, um. This is really the, these are our last couple of slides and um, there are sketches and in a manner of speaking there um, our brain on paper and this is the heart of our process and a very intimate part of um, who we are and we just wanted to share with you um, some, this sketch um, you know, page is about um, creating stools and um, Bibi's thoughts about um, whether he can connect it to uh, some African masks because of the way that the African masks are, they define and cut volume. Um, he was exploring the idea of whether he can transfer some of that um, volumetric beauty into uh, a, a stool or uh, something that could become a piece of furniture. This is um, part of a study that was for a Turkish client around creating um, a seating element as well as a table. Some of these series are from our work for um, HP, Hewlett Packard, creating um, retail point of sale environments. And these are really the things that we share with our client before we do anything to get into the um, exchange of ideas. Uh, this is again for um, HP um, creating experiences around digital photography and um, um, point of sale for digital photography. Thinking about the, uh, how people will handle things, see things, uh, stand up next to things as well. A series of sketches around um, chairs and seating elements. Of course, some car interiors, which um, Bibi is very good at. I'm, he's the car designer, so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Là, c'est un peu pour euh, <laughs> montrer comment nous travaillons ensemble, quoi. This picture is to show how we work together. <laughs> Bibi in the Indaba magazine said, uh, that he holds the pen with which I draw. But actually, we hold each a pen, but the line is the same. Thank you Thank very you. much.